Okay, so um, uh, I've, I've changed direction a couple of times in the building of this boat. It's now completely finished, um, but the videos are just sort of catching up. So I thought I'd explain to you uh, what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. So the next two uh, parts of this particular video, um, in the first one, uh, I describe how to mount the motors. Um, and in the second one, we talk about building some servo connectors. Um, I use the lathe. I don't think you have to have a lathe to do it, but they make really just to make very simple, easy servo connectors that are adjustable. And I've used those in all of the gun mechanisms. And I thought I'd just spend a bit of time doing that. So I'm going to sign off in a minute, and you're going to see those two videos. Following that, however, I'm going to have the next video. Uh, one in which I strip the boat out completely and then build it all and I'm going to talk to you about the various parts as we do so. A couple of changes have occurred. One of them is that um, I'm using small motors. It's 1400 kVi. I don't know. I'm not expert on this. But, it, but it's, a, it's a less powerful uh, motor to use with the speed controllers. And the result is that the boat's running at a very nice speed. So I'm pretty happy with that because the previous ones were too powerful. So in this video, you're going to see me mount the previous more powerful motors into the boat. But I use exactly the same technique now to replace them with smaller motors. Uh, but I've changed one thing. Instead of using uh, four millimeter per spec, I'm using two millimeter. And that is really nice because it, it allows a little bit of flexibility in the mounting of the motor automatically but I use the same system of, of heating it up and bending it and then then connecting it the whole system together and then um, gluing that in place that works really well so the motors great everything's actually running very nicely so let's get on with it the, the big issue is how do I connect the motor deep inside the hull and I've just noticed that these motors have come with these whopping pieces of material which fit perfectly across the um, across those connectors in there and presumably you can stick a screw through that side. Now I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to use some perspex. I have to drill out that hole and I have to drill two holes in there perfectly and I'm just going to use two screws that will be enough. I'll be able to screw that in and they take um, th 3 mil um, screws, which I have a lot of. But what I can use these for, and this is very exciting, is I can drill that hole in there, put a screw in it, put a tap in it, and then fasten that one in, and then I can drill the other one to that so I can get these holes perfect. That's pretty good, even if that's all I use it for. So once I've got this screwed onto here, the next step will be um, to get the torch on it and bend it right the way around. I want to make sure it's got room between the base of this, between that piece and the base of the hull. Once I've got it round, I'm going to screw it all together and then put some... Um, I think I'm going to be using some car filler to completely fasten that in place once all of that's nicely done. And um, <clears throat> the, the way to take the screw off will be to take it off like that. And I've just been checking that I can do it on the inside of this. That's pretty good. Let me... Okay, so I've done that one. You can see that's really, really neat. Um, I've just got to open the hole up around the shaft because I need to be able to fit these in. But that's easy enough. Now, I've drilled one hole here and I've screwed it straight in 
and now I'm going to just put the drill straight through that one or part way and then take it all apart and finish it off. I don't want the drill <coughs> to plow into my um, uh, into my motor. All right, I've got both of these done. Now I will clean all this up in time, but the thing to do now is to heat. Mm, this is the way it's going to go, of course. The wires will go at the top, but I'm going to heat this perspex gently, and then throw it into the vise at that level and bend it back. <clears throat> now because it's going to be in that sort of angle, it doesn't have to be at 90 degrees, it's probably more like 87, <clears throat> but if I get it back as soon as I can, hopefully it'll be sitting proud of the base of the hull. And if it is, then I can use the epoxy and everything else, put it all in place, tighten everything up, mm. and then put the glue in and it will never move. That's the plan. Okay, so we're, we're after a lot of fiddling around, I've come to a point now where we're ready to um, fasten these bases in. <clears throat> I've tightened everything up here, I've made some adjustments so that the motors fit flat against the perspex, um, and look, to all intents and purposes, this is all now pretty good. So consequently, so consequently, the next step will be just to remove these um, these little bases, and then I'm going to put a nice layer of um, car filler into the base of this. I might drill some holes first so that it goes in and out, and then just bed it in, tie everything up, make sure it's all moving nicely leave it. Okay, so in order to do that, what I'm going to do is use a little piece of brass the same size as that one. I'm going to get, I've got some two and a half inch uh, bolts which are quite long and I'm going to cut them down to a very carefully measured size and I'm going to drill right through the middle and put a thread through. Then I'm going to put a drill through the opposite side which will be a, just the right size to hold my elevation bar and then this is the arm for the um, servo. I'm going to drill that out and then I'm going to continue this to that point. So I want this to be that long, whatever that is. And if this is a bit too long, I can just put a couple of little spaces in there. But what I want to be able to do is put my um, elevation arm in there, screw this up, and as I do so, it's going to jam the elevation arm in place. And this will remain just that little bit loose, so it'll turn. That should be a nice, simple uh, mechanism. Now, at some point, I purchased, or I picked up some screws, which are all 2.5 mil, and I've done that so that I can uh, use them as um, motor uh, screws. Now, what I've done here is just, I've been playing with this now. This is the little arm. I've added a couple of these little uh, washers on here, so that when I now tighten this up, that's now firm. But that is turning. So that is lovely. I've just got to find six more washers. Okay, this is the bow sprit, and that involves two little wires like this. What I've done is I've drilled into here and drilled them in so that I can now silver solder them on. This one is actually going to be that long and join onto there like that, but the way I'm going to do that is to put that in there like that, and now I'll get the silver solder out and cut that bottom off when I'm ready. Here is the stern one, once again carefully drilled out. There it is.
is. Oops, that is a bit too steep. What I want to do now is just fix up this top deck and how it works. It has a few different parts on it. And um, I had previously screwed a couple of um, battens in there, but that wasn't very useful. What I've done now is I've taken a piece of uh, Perspex and managed to grind it down. so that it's a rather a nice fit in there. I don't want to push it too hard because it's going to go through. And now this is a, a nice piece of plastic that's going to run on top of it. And the idea will be, I'm pushing it in now, the idea will be to glue them together and then put some sealer on either end with some um, uh, protection for this because I don't want that to be stuck to it so I'll probably use my favorite method of glad wrap around there to keep it safe so that this will just pop out and it'll all be quite strong and I'll just have a couple of um, uh, maybe a couple of screws really tiny screws one there and one there just to hold it in um, because it'll all be sealed and it'll be quite quite nice so I can just take everything off. Got some lovely carbog on this, just fitting it into the spots on here. And this is going to help seal this into the top. Now while I'm at it, let me also fill a couple of holes that are no longer needed. 